Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video we have another CGC return from one of the lives. Now I can't remember what all was graded. I can see the very first card here, but I believe this is one of the submissions where I had a few less cards. This is when we uh, first opened up the Power Keepers booster box. Yeah, so this was from 425. I'm recording this on 515. So again, another quick turnaround. You guys probably won't see this till about mid-June or so. I try to spread these out maybe once a week or so. Um, but because that's about how often we do it, right? And I also wanted to make sure you guys had a few videos while I was um, not recording the live videos during June. But yeah, so the very first one here, we have the Blaziken. This is kind of like the Charizard of Generation 3. Uh, it's the, the fire starter, right? Of course, it's not Charizard. It's not Typhlosion, but it's still pretty cool. Pulled the 8.5. If I remember correctly, the condition on the front of these things was super nice. But then when you turned over the back, I believe the centering was off just a little bit. And then they had a couple white dots. Yep, right there at the top. So that's probably why that one got the 8.5. <clears throat> Uh, next up, we have a Charmander. Got the uh, the claymation going on there with that one. Pulled the nine. That yeah, that one did not have a a pedigree. All right. Next up, we have the Charmeleon. Been cool if somebody had pulled a Char Charmander, Charmeleon, and a Charizard in a pack. I know we did pull a Char Resort or Charizard in the most recent one. Uh, that we opened up Power Keepers, but wow, look at that. Pulled the 9.5 on the Salamence EX. Uh, I believe this is one of two EXs that we saw. We did not see a Gold Star, which uh, some of the Power Keeper packs have started going out sealed. And you're also not guaranteed to get one in a box. You're not even really guaranteed to get one in two boxes. That's just roughly your odds. You're going to get one in every two booster boxes. But yeah, pretty good condition there. Got the, the Gem Mint grade on the Salamence. Part of a swirl on the top left right there. Next, we have the Warp Energy. This one dropped down to an 8. It's probably the same thing, kind of the centering and maybe a few white dots. Yeah, let's see a white dot there, a white dot there. I think the centering probably hurt that one more than anything else. Ooh, we got a Pristine on the Mewtwo V-Star. I can't remember what it was for. This could have been just a, a V-Star booster box opening. There's been a, There were a few that were given away in some of our more recent breaks, so it could have been that too. Oh, another pristine. Got a pristine 10 on the Charizard V, so that's nice. Again, also does have the pedigree. Let's see. There we go. Oh, three in a row. We've got the Radiant Charizard in a pristine 10. So that's very nice there. Let's see if we got more modern coming. Oh, our 9.5. We've got a 9.5 on our first modern card. Well, I guess our first 9.5 on a modern card, I, I should say. Ooh, got a 10 on the Palkia V-Star. Now, we pulled a lot of gold cards. I don't think we've hit too many 10s. For the most part, they've been 9s and 9.5s, so that's a pretty good grade there with that 10 on the Palkia. Got an 8.5 on the Rapidash. I believe some of these may now be getting into some of my personal cards because uh, typically I get a, quite a few from the live that are submitted, but is this 11 cards? 3, 6, 9, that's 10 cards. So maybe it was only 10 cards that were submitted by customers, so the rest of the stuff might be stuff in my personal collection. So this one... Uh, you might be able to see it, but like the entire surface is it's like missing ink or something. I had somebody return one of these because they were like, yeah, it's a fake. And I'm like, it's not fake. Like I opened up the build and paddle box myself. And uh, yeah, so it looks like it was labeled as insufficient ink. That's pretty cool. Uh, next up, we have Stormy Mountains. So I was getting ready to send off to Cardinal Gaming. A lot of uh, reverse hollows. I was just kind of bla blazing through them, trying to pull out some of the cards like Charizard or whatever, Snorlax. Some, some ones that I may grade. And um, <clears throat> none of the trainers I was really paying attention to. So was, I was lucky to have this one pop out. But look, Stormy. Stormy Mountains. You can see it, it looked a little blurry. And then I noticed the actual print on the card. And they labeled it as a partial double printing. So I thought that was really cool. And I pulled the 9.5, which I believe is getting up there with about as high as you can get. And then uh, this Ampharos was kind of the same deal. Um, you can actually see where it was blurry. And then you can see part of the printing over here on the right side. It's tough to see through the camera but in person it's a little bit easier to see let's see if they labeled it the same way yeah you can see a line some ink down here too i guess that's why it looks blurry yeah partial double printing i actually ran into a few others that were blurry like this but you couldn't see ink in anywhere else so <clears throat> i figured if it wouldn't matter that much to me it probably wouldn't matter to somebody else so i just let those go on through this is one that was sent in the mail if you guys remember he was like uh uh, I thought you might appreciate this a little more than me, and I just went ahead and got it slabbed up. You can see right there, it's, it's got this long crimp right across the top. It's graded a 9, and you can see it's not a partial crimp, like it's the full crimp, so that, that's really cool right there. It's nice to see inside of a slab. 
All right, next up we have just another E6 Charizard. I grade these here and there when I'm just looking to fill in some things because, I mean, you, d you just never know with the Charizard. People like to know the grade. It's a lot easier to sell something with a grade, even if it is an 8.5, than uh, to describe it as like near mint mint or light play or something like that. Here's another E6. This is looks like the same. It's going to be first print. And, ooh, nice. This one got the 9.5, so up there with the gem mint grade. Next up, we have a Janine's Arbok. Nothing special or error going on here. Just a verse series card. Thought it might be a good add-in for this order. I was just trying to build it up to the 25 card minimum. Pulled an 8 on the Jasmine's Ampharos as well. I don't remember. I remember seeing them after after we uh, show them, but I don't remember like what's next. So Now we've got the Pristine 10 on the Lieutenant Surge's Raichu. So there's a nice grade on that one. The, the Japanese new back is usually a little bit easier to grade. What do we have here? Oh yeah, so this one was OC. I don't know if it got yeah, it didn't it didn't pull the, the OC qualifier, but you can see right there it pulled the eight. I believe the way CGC works is if it would grade less than an eight because of the centering, then they um then they give it the like the partial minor miscut or whatever it is. This one doesn't actually show a print dot, but you can see it's pretty it's pretty off center, like it's noticeable to the eye but it looks like it wasn't enough to bring it down below the eight. So that's still a pretty cool card. Next up we have got a Jasmine's Jolteon. So we go back to another verse series card. It would have been really cool to have this on the English side, but it makes it, it, it almost makes it more special on the Japanese side because we never saw it on the English side. Here we've got a Topps Chrome Squirtle. I don't think there was anything special about this one. It was just a Topps Chrome Squirtle. I thought it was in good condition and it was worth a shot at grading. All right, we have a 7 on the Dragonite EX for Delta Species. I was hoping this one might get the miscut uh, qualifier as well. This one would probably grade a 7, not because of the centering, which the centering didn't help, but I imagine because of the surface. If I remember right, there was like a light ding. Yeah, on that top right, you can see it there. So. I figured it wasn't worth the sh it was it was worth a shot to try and sell it. Now I can just sell it as a, a near mint seven Dragonite EX from Delta Species. All right, next up we have a Numble, and this one had two square cuts. I pulled this one directly from a pack myself. You can see right there two square corners. You don't typically see a lot of uh, cards that have two square corners, but when you do, almost always it's connected to somebody who pulled it from a booster pack themselves. All right, and then I think this is the last one. We have a Lugia V Star. Again, this is just a, a regular Lugia V Star. It looks like I showed the uh, the coolest stuff right there at the beginning. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, as always, I hope you guys are having a great summer. You're enjoying your time. Can't wait to hit it hard when it, when we come back here in July. But um, until then, you guys enjoy your time and thanks for watching these videos.